okay welcome all so today we will start with the uh, file handling and os module these two topics we are going to cover today <coughs> so file handling first of all uh, what is mean by file handling so what whatever operations we do manually by using uh, our mouse or keyboard okay we uh, we create a file we write something into a file okay we close the file we open the file so these operations can be done by using python okay creating a file reading a file updating a file writing something into file or deleting a file these operations can be done using the file handling <coughs> so why these operations are important because manually uh, it is not possible for every uh, every file or uh, if some of the files are at a different location say at, on the different servers so in that case it becomes hectic to uh, access that a particular server and then delete the file or then update the file or read the file write the file these operations are a little bit hectic by using that uh, manual method so by using python you can do these operations you can open a file give it a particular name write something into that file read that file okay and not only text file you can also create uh, binary files by using file handling okay binary file it is basically a sequence so <coughs> file handling is an important part of any web application and python has several functions for creating reading updating and deleting the files okay so that we are going to see so first python file open okay as the name suggest it is used to open a particular file okay so by open mean uh, we mean that it is not just opening the file but it is also creating a file if the file does not exist okay so we we, uh, we can create a file give it a particular name okay by using this uh, open function <coughs> now what is python file open it is used to create text file and those text files can be created by using various modes or it the files can be opened by using various modes okay there are various modes read mode write mode append mode okay we'll see later how how these modes work so we need to open a particular file in a particular mode okay what operation we are going to do we have to open the file in that mode let's say you want to uh, write something into a file you have to you want to create a new file and you want to write something into that file okay so you must open that file in write mode okay then let's say you have an existing file okay the, the file is already present and you want to make some changes into the file okay then you need to open that particular file in append mode okay you need to make changes or you need to append some of the data into that file then you need to open it into append mode then uh, you want to just read the file okay there is the file is already present it contains some text okay let's say it, it contains some uh, information or some data in the text format and you want to read that file okay just read the text so you can open that particular file into read mode okay just open that file into read mode and uh, extract the text and just print that text that text will be on your screen okay so these kind of different modes are there <coughs> and you need to open that file in that particular mode okay whatever operation you are doing are you getting yes okay then what are the modes for text file so you can see here r is the mode which is for reading the file okay that means if you want to read a file you need to open that file in r mode okay and this is also the default value that means if you don't uh, specify the default value is r that means file is open in 
read mode opens a file for reading an error if the file does not exist now file now fi you want to read the file that means you can read you can only read the file if that file exists okay if the file is not created or, or the file does not exist in that case you cannot read that file okay so for reading a file that file must exist in your directory then next is append mode a small a is used for append mode and it opens the file for appending okay appending in the sense you, you want to make some changes you want to add some data into that file so you can open that file in a mode append mode okay and it creates the file if it does not exist if the file does not exist it will create the file and then append the data whatever you want to append the next is the write mode w is used for write mode you want to create a file and you want to write a complete new text into that file okay so you can open that file in write mode so see this open a file in writing a file for writing and create the file if it does not exist so if the file does not exist you can open it in write mode it will create the file also and then you can write something into the file also and last one is the x that is the create mode okay this also creates a specified file and it runs uh, it returns an error if the file exists okay so it is just like uh, uh, write mode only but this is the difference it returns an error if the file exists okay so you can use x mode also in that case if the file exists and you want uh, uh, it to throw error then you can use x in that case so uh, understood these modes in which you want to open the file yes sir okay in addition you can specify the file should be handled binary or text mode <coughs> like i said these are the modes for text file okay that means you can open a file in these modes if that file is a text file but if that file is a binary file in that case you have a b mode okay just add b in front of these okay that means if you want to read a binary file use rb in this in this way if you want to write a binary file use wb if you want to append use ab and so on okay so t for text mode you need not to specify t here even if you uh, specify r a w it by default consider it as a text file but for binary you need to add b in front of r w a in this way okay we'll later on uh, see how or what is the purpose of creating a binary file okay when we create uh, machine learning models and uh, when you want to create the uh, pickle files of those model then in that case you you have to create binary files okay so in that case you can use this uh, modes rb wb modes okay got it yes sir okay yes sir so these modes have particular characters and these are the meanings of those characters okay we have uh, specified here r for reading default w for writing x for creating a new file and open it for writing okay and this also throws an error if the file exists a open for writing appending to the end of file if it exists okay appending some text means adding some text at the end of file b for binary mode t for text mode then plus is also used to open a disk file for updating and u is also used for universal new line mode okay we don't use uh, these things okay these things we don't use often we just use r w x a and b okay so we'll see examples so first thing you need to understand the open function okay so in python there is a built in function open which can be used to open a file 
okay and this is the syntax of open function just use the open keyword and you can file uh, you can uh, give the file or file name or path of that file okay plus you have to specify the mode okay for example here mode equals to r by default it is read mode you can open it into write mode or append mode x mode okay various different modes then other options are also available which we don't use very often just understand this uh, open function and the file or path of the file and mode in which you want to open the file okay understood syntax yes sir okay then uh, one thing you need to always keep in mind that whenever you open a file and after you do some of the operations after you are done with all the operations always remember to close a file okay like uh, you do in your pc or in your in your laptop you open a file you write something into a file and uh, you don't forget to close the file okay at last you close the file so don't forget to close the file and to close a file there is a function called as close okay you can simply use file dot close it will close the file now let's see an example how to open a file in different modes <coughs> how to write something into that file okay now see here i've given an example here what i'm doing i'm creating a variable file and I'm using this open function okay and in that I have specified the file name or path you can specify the path also complete path okay to malazar vegra location la file create karaj asil tar tumi titla path tumi use karu shakta okay if you want to create a file at different location you can use that path here so I want to create at this location okay this location means this is my current working directory this is my current working directory okay so it will create a file here itself and what is the name that i have given to the file file one dot txt okay don't forget the extension okay we are creating a text file okay text file as an extension dot txt okay comma and i have specified the mode as w okay we have seen in the syntax there are modes if you want to see just click shift tab it will show you the syntax okay this is the syntax open file mode and these other options okay so this w is nothing but mode or you can do it in this way also mode equals to w okay and here you can file equals to file one dot txt you can do it in this way also but even if you don't specify it considers this file one dot txt as file and w as a mode then <coughs> what i have done here open a file like open or i will say create a file with file name file one dot txt in which mode w mode that means write mode understood this thing yes sir yes sir okay then next i am taking a text okay i am i am uh, i have considered a string okay and i have stored in that uh, i have stored that string in a variable called as text so this is my text to be written in the file i want to write this text 
into into the file that I have opened here itself. Okay, so I have taken this string Python and data science and I have stored it in a variable text. Okay, and to write that particular text you have to use write function. So write that text using write function. Okay, so dot write is the method or function that will write this text specified here into this file. Okay, and at last close the file. Okay, understood? Yes, sir. Now I will run this and let's see if it creates that file. Okay. This has been run and <coughs> this is my file created, file1.txt, seconds ago. Understood? Yes, sir. Now we will check this file1.txt <coughs> and let's see what is in that. You can see here, it contains the text, Python and data science, okay, that we have written into the file. Got it? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Then let's understand the write function and write mode. Okay. So uh, here also I have specified it and I have told here write function is used to write a particular text into the uh, file okay so to write the text in the file we can use this write function okay and for this write function the file must be open in one of these modes okay that means we can write something into the file by using these modes okay if you use w mode it will create a file and write the text if we use x mode it will still create a file if the file does not exist and if it exists, then it will return error. Okay. Uh, write will just overwrite the existing file. Okay. If the file exists, it will overwrite that file. But X will not overwrite. If the file exists, X will return error. And A will open the file in append mode. That means we can still use the write function and append some text to the existing file. Okay, the file which is already present, we can append some extra text into that file. Understood these three modes in write function? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and at last, file must be closed at the end. What is the syntax that we can use? Same. First, use the open function, give the file name here, open it in write mode, then file dot write and whatever text you have that text you can write here and file dot close okay now we will see uh, we have seen an example of uh, write mode we will see an example of x mode and append mode also now what i am doing i will show you an example of uh, x mode okay as i said x mode will create a file and uh, write the text into the file okay if the file does not exist but if the file exists it will throw an error now we know file1.txt already exists here okay file1.txt we have just created so here what we are doing we are opening that file1.txt in x mode okay so it will give, an, give us an error okay but if it does not give error uh, <coughs> Let's see, we have also uh, this text and I want to write that text into the file f and here I have closed the file f. Okay, so I will try running this and see so it is taking a lot of time and it throws an error, file exist error. Okay, so understood what is the use of x mode?
Understood? Yes. If the file exists. <clears throat> okay, so this thing is clear. And what about W mode? Write mode? It will not give an error. Okay, and the file will be overwritten by new text. For example, here we have already seen file1.txt it contains which text python and data science okay and if i write the another file with same name file1.txt in write mode and the text i am writing is machine learning so let's see example of this and now if you check file1.txt it contains machine learning okay so the original file has been overwritten by using this w mode Understood the difference between W and X mode? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I'll just show you another example of this X mode. If I write this another file, now I've changed the name of the file. Okay, file2.txt. And if I'm writing machine learning and deep learning okay and let's see now this x uh, runs properly or it throws an error okay now it runs properly and you can see here file 2.txt has been created machine learning and deep learning understood yes sir. yes sir. so it throws an error if the file exists and no error if the file does not exist okay <clears throat> now we have seen write mode x mode that means w mode and x mode another is append mode okay and character a is used to open a file in append mode okay so append means what we can add some more text some more uh, data into that file by opening that file in append mode okay so that file must exist okay then we can open it into append mode now we will take the same file1.txt okay i'll show you file1.txt again it contains machine learning okay it contains the text machine learning and now we have opened the same file file1.txt in append mode and i am uh, taking this text python is a programming language and i am writing that text into that file and again closing that file and we'll again check after this what are the changes okay now i have executed this I will close this file 1.txt and again open this file 1.txt and you can see here now this was the previous text machine learning and the new text has been appended here python is a programming language this has been appended to the previous text understood yes. okay so in this way you can use a append function now you can see here this python is a programming language this text is appended here itself immediately after the first text immediately at this position where the first text ends okay if you want this text on new line just insert backslash n in your text okay backslash n in your text and now you can see backslash n and this is my text java is a programming language and i'm writing or i'm appending into the same file file1.txt okay f dot write text and f dot close and you can check this file again file1.txt and here it is on the new line 
Java is a programming language. Understood how to get it on new line? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You can also use a multi line string to uh, write the text into the file. Okay. So, multi line string we know multi line string is represented by three double quotes or three single, single quotes. Okay. So, I have used three double quotes here. And what I will do, I will I will show you an example of another file. Let's take file three and try to append this in file three. <coughs> you can see here it has created new file. Okay, file three was not there, but it has created new file. Python and Java are two different programming languages. Now, if you see, first line is blank. Why it is blank? Why first line is blank? Because I have inserted backslash n. That means new line at the start. Okay, so first line is blank. And Python and Java are after this. Again, I have inserted the text on new line. Two different programming languages. So that's why two different programming languages is on new line. Due to multi-line string. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you have understood write mode, X mode, append mode. Okay. And the write function to write the text. Now, read function and read mode. Okay. So uh, as the name suggests, it is used to read a particular file. That means open a particular file in read mode. Okay, to read the text in the file, we use this read function. Okay, and remember here for read function, you cannot open the file into write or append mode or uh, X mode. Okay, you have to open that particular file in read mode. Then and then you can read the text from that file. So file should be open in R mode. And this is the syntax. Just a second. This is the syntax okay so you have to open the file this syntax is common okay open function then give the file name here now this file will be existing file okay you cannot create a file for read okay because to read a file the file must exist already so open the file in R mode and after that just use file dot read function Okay, file dot read will extract the text from that file. Okay, and that text we have stored in the variable text. And then I am printing that text. Okay, so that text will be uh, taken as output here in notebook. So let's take an example of the same file we have created file1.txt. And I'll show you again file1.txt what is so it contains this text machine learning python is a programming language java is a programming language okay so this text we are going to read by using read function so i have opened this file file1.txt in r mode and then i am reading this file f.read storing it in text variable and printing the text variable this is my text understood Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So open the file F in read mode. <coughs> then read the text from the file F and store it in the 
text variable and here we are print the text so understood all the modes read write x append yes sir okay yes. both the functions are clear write function read function yes sir okay then open the file close the file this is clear yes sir yes sir yes okay then let's move forward next is with statement now i have told you a method to open a file using open function and close a file using close function okay but there is another method to open a file where we don't need to close the file okay when we use simple open method there as i said after opening a file we have to mandatorily close that file by using f dot close okay but here by using with statement you can open the file and do whatever operation read write whatever operation and you need not to close the file it okay it automatically closes the file okay so this is mostly preferred okay instead of a uh, simple open and close with statement is mostly preferred to open a file okay because there is no need of using close after using with and what is the syntax this is the syntax with open just mention the file name the mode as usual and you can also use alias name for this okay as is used for alias so i am opening this file with the name f okay and then i can do the operation whatever operation i want to do for example i have opened the file with f name so f dot write and whatever i want to write i can mention here okay sql is used for data engineering this is the text i am writing into the file f okay that means this file file 2.txt understood yes now first i will show you we also have file 2.txt okay so this file already exist and we have this machine learning and deep learning in that if i run this let's check now what is the file 2.txt here it is previous text is over written by this text sql is used for data engineering understood this syntax yes sir yes sir now here i have written this text into that file here i am reading the text from that file okay f dot read reads the text okay and i have also applied a print for uh, after that okay print on this f dot read so it will print that text whatever it has read from the file so here i will comment basically here open the file with alas f and here write the text into the file and in in which is the mode here which mode right mode and here we are opening the file in read mode with the same alias f and here we are read the
text and print it. So we know what contains in this file2.txt. Okay. So if I read this and print this, it will print the text. Okay. Understood? Yes, sir. So remember this syntax, you have to use this syntax many a times, okay? Because uh, further when we go forward into machine learning, deep learning, then at that point of time you have to deal with multiple files, okay? So you have to open a file, okay? Close a file, you have to modify a file, okay? These things you have to do. So remember this syntax. Now, how to read first n characters from a file? How to read first n characters from a file? So for this, <coughs> the syntax is same. You have to open the file in a read mode with alias name any alias name okay you can uh, take any alias name here not only f you can use file or any other use the same function a read function just in the read function you can mention the characters okay by default it will uh, read all the characters but if you mention a number it can read those many number of characters for example i have mentioned 10 here so first 10 characters will be read from file 1 Okay, now I'll show you file 1 first, what it contains. Okay, this is my file 1. Okay, and let's see after reading first 10 characters. These are my first 10 characters. Okay, you can also count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Understood how to read first n characters? Yes, okay. So similarly, you can read as many number of characters as you want. I want to read 50 characters. Use f dot read 50. Okay, these are 50 characters. First 50 characters. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Then. <coughs> You can also use read line okay instead of read function there is also a read line function that can read first line of the file okay so it reads first it can read first line of the text okay understood yes yeah. then similar to read line there is also one more function read lines function okay read lines function is used to read all the lines okay so i can use the same syntax f dot read lines it will read all lines but as a list Okay, here you can understand. Now, we, we know that there are only two lines in this file. Line number one, line number two. So, read lines will give us a list of two elements. Okay, first element will be first line. Second element will be second line. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then if I want a single line or line by line from the text, I can also read it in this way. Okay, with open file1.txt in a read mode as F and I can apply for loop in that. Okay, for X in F, you can see you can, there are two lines so you can read these two lines. Okay, one by one. 
understood yes sir yes sir then let's come to binary files now up to this point we have seen how to read write append text files what about binary files okay so as i told you for binary you have to use a b mode okay you have to write the file with wb read the file with rb okay in this way so syntax is same okay with open give the file name just don't use .txt okay because .txt will create a text file so you can just give a simple file name or, or whatever uh, the extension is of, of the file and open the file in wb or rb mode okay so now i am using wb that means it will write binary okay wb means write binary so it will write the file in binary mode as f then use f dot write function and write whatever you want to write into this function okay so uh, no not just text but you can also uh, write or load any particular uh, model any particular data into that file okay i'll show an example now this is throwing error because what is the type error a byte like object is required not string because we are trying to write string into a binary file okay that is not possible okay this is not possible because for binary file you uh, binary file does not take text for writing okay it takes some sequence of data okay sequential data tela pai jasto for example jase mi sangitla ki pickle file ahe okay so uh, for that you can use this wb mode okay we'll later see when we create the pickle files okay are you getting yes sir yes sir then json files json is very important uh, format okay a because uh, going forward you will require this json files at every point of time okay so json basically there is a module in python to create json files or to read json files okay that module is named as json okay you can see here you can import that module by simply using import json okay j s o n so json what is what is json basically json creates uh, a file that is in json format and it stores the data in dictionary format okay we know what is a dictionary okay dictionary is a mapping uh, data type which contains key and value pairs okay key and a value associated with the key so basically json file stores dictionary in json format okay files that can store dictionaries and uh, it is not built in uh, function of json so you have to import this uh, json module for that and there we can use the dump or load methods for json file okay for dumping a dictionary or loading a dictionary into a json file or loading a dictionary from the json file okay jasa apan ikde write ani read karat hoto na text file sathi write we were using for writing the text into the file okay so similarly there is a dump method in json okay that is used to write a dictionary into json file and for text we are using a read method to read the text from the file okay so similarly in json there is a load method okay which is used to read the dictionary from the json file are you getting yes okay now we will just import this json module then create a dictionary okay d1 is my dictionary and these are the values in the dictionary a b c 
these are the keys and these are the values associated with the keys so this dictionary d1 dictionary i am going to dump this dictionary into a json file okay so how to dump a dictionary in json file <coughs> how to dump a dictionary in json file so use the same syntax okay open a file with open give it a name okay now for name don't forget the extension it is a json file so the extension must be dot json okay so dict1 dot json is my file name then I am writing okay I am opening that file in write mode okay me kai tari lito hai me dump mala dictionary dump kara chitya file mali so I have to open that file in write mode as alias name f and in json you have the dump method okay the syntax is json dot dump okay me tu mala sangit la makcha session madhe कि हाउ हाउ वी कैन यूज अ फंक्शन इन अ मॉड्यूल ओके सो मॉड्यूल नेम डॉट फंक्शन दिस इज अंटैक्स ओके सो जेसन इज माई मॉड्यूल नेम डॉट डम्प डम्प इज द फंक्शन एंड दिस फंक्शन डम्प टेक्स एज अ आर्ग्यूमेंट यू कैन सी यर जेसन डॉट डम्प एंड देर आर सो मेनी आर्ग्यूमेंट यर ओके just uh pay attention on this okay object and fp that means the file okay so object is your dictionary you are trying to dump a dictionary so d1 is the dictionary this dictionary we have created here here and where you are trying to dump it in file f okay so you have open this dict1.json as an alias f f ya nav ne open kele okay so let's run this and now i will show you the file dict1.json okay this is the file dict1.json okay mag ashi binary create keli this is the binary file okay but it does not contain anything karan aplyala error ala hota we were trying to uh, write text in that okay so dict1.json is the file and see here this is your dictionary understood how to dump a dictionary yes sir yes sir okay now after dumping a dictionary how to load a dictionary from a json file okay you have to you want to load a dictionary you have a json file this one dict1.json Okay, and you want to load the dictionary from the JSON file. So just use same syntax with open dict1.json. Just open this file in read mode. Okay, we want to load the data as f, and just use print function and load function JSON dot load. What you are loading f file. It will print the dictionary in this way. Understood? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then store this into another variable. Okay. For example, here I have stored it into dict underscore one. For further use, if you want that variable, you can store it into that variable also. This is my dump and load functions from JSON file. Understood? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then use case of file handling. Okay. What is the use case of file handling? So um, let's take an example of document classification. Okay. So you have to classify various documents. Okay. You have Aadhar card. You have PAN card. Let's say you have driving license, bank statement, passport. Okay. these different types of documents and you want to classify these documents uh, just from the images okay images or 
let's say PDF okay you have images or PDFs of these documents and you want to classify just from the documents okay so input data format it can be images okay and these images you can convert into text by using tesseract or uh, text act okay tesseract or text act are basically OCR engines okay OCR means optical character recognition जे काय तुमचं कॅरेक्टर आहेत ते कॅरेक्टर इमेज पासून रेकॉग्नाइज करायचं एक इंजिन आहे ओसीआर इंजिन ओके सो टेसरॅक्ट और टेक्स्टॅक्ट टेक्स्टॅक्ट इज ऑफ अमेझॉन ओके अँड टेसरॅक्ट इज बेसिकली वन मोर ओसीआर यू कॅन यूज दिस अँड फॉर दिस टेसरॅक्ट वी हॅव पाय टेसरॅक्ट मॉड्यूल एज अ सेड इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हॅव पाय टेसरॅक्ट मॉड्यूल फॉर दिस ओसीआर सो these images can be converted to text by using this tesseract or textract ocr and if there are a pdf then you have to first convert those pdf into images and then convert those images into text okay and uh, what are the tools for conversion if there are pdf then you need to convert pdf to image by using this library okay we have this library pdf to image library that can convert pdf images to Uh, pdf uh, files to images and for image to text conversion you can use different ocr for example google vision okay google lens tumcha mobile madhe asel vaparli google lens kadi ho oh. kai kai karta google lens what it does kai upyog hai tacha convert the images into text yes okay so when you use google lens basically uh, from the image what google lens does it uh, recognizes the characters or uh, objects in that image okay and based on that it provides you suggestions uh, of the uh, image search okay so similar in similar way google vision what it does it recognizes the optical characters similarly we have tesseract okay tesseract is open source and uh, we have textract ocr of aws which is again paid service so uh, we can use this uh, tesseract in case uh, you want to convert convert the images into text okay now for example suppose i am having this um, aadhar and i am trying to let me import pyset pytesseract first before importing you also need to install okay so don't forget to install i have installed already and along with uh, installation you have to also download the tesseract okay if you search for tesseract tesseract ocr you can see here tesseract open source ocr engine okay and you can download just enter download tesseract ocr <coughs> and you can download it from here tesseract ocr github go to this link okay source forge source forge is the okay here it is download latest version okay tesseract 3.02.02 okay so according to your operating system according to your uh, machine you have to download that tesseract ocr okay and after downloading that tesseract ocr then you can use the py tesseract okay so i will just try importing this py tesseract it will take some time 
okay it has been imported and also I need to specify the path of uh, my uh, source path okay so here I specified D A T Tambe personal let me check the path because this is a uh, old path D no 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 this is not the one I think here it is personal and Aadhaar original okay here it is so E or F I'm having it in F so I will change this and I will try to run this permission error okay access is denied okay it does not have access to uh, read that file okay so um, we are going to see this uh, in further module also in regular expressions oh, okay at that time I will uh, explain you about this for now don't concentrate much on this I'll just delete this okay as of now just uh, focus on file handling how to uh, handle the files okay is this clear how to open read write append text file json files binary files yes sir yes sir okay now if this is clear let's move towards the operating system module okay operating system module whatever operations we do in a particular operating system like creating a folder deleting a folder moving a folder mo copying a folder okay all those operations can be done by using this operating system module okay we are going to see this operating system module now this is somehow related to file handling and folders handling or directory handling so that's why we are studying this operating system module <coughs> okay so what is operating system module it provides a functionality to interact with the operating system to interact with the operating system means whatever operations we are going to do with a particular directory that is basically interaction with the operating system okay apnala kai directory create karaychi delete karaychi move karaychi copy karaychi apan basically kai karto we are doing it with the help of operating system tumcha machine varti operating system nasel tar tumhi he operations karu shakat nahi okay you can't do the operations uh, without the help of operating system so operating system module provides us this functionality to interact with the operating system and perform various operations by using the operating system module so first how to import the operating system module so import OS is the syntax to import operating system module okay and if you want to check the functions or contents of this operating system module you can check it with the help of this thing dir function okay we have seen in the last lecture so you can check these are the functions and contents of operating system okay so many functions are there got it yes sir okay yes. now we are not going to see all of these functions we will just see some of the important functions so some important operations that we can perform here creating a file or folder okay here technically we call it a directory okay so uh, get used to that directory word instead of folder use directory so creating a folder or directory deleting a file or folder or directory then rename a folder or directory copy a file check current working directory 
change current working directory okay these are the functions that we are going to see now first is creating a folder or directory how to create a directory okay so as i told os is the module and it, in that os module we have mkdir function mkdir stands for make directory okay mk for make dir for directory so os dot mkdir and in that we can specify the name of the directory for example i have specified python so it will create a directory a folder of the name python are you getting yes sir okay so yes. i will run this and let's check here it is you can see python is the directory okay it is empty but it has created this directory python got it yes sir yes sir okay now how to make a non existing directory okay non existing intermediate directories okay you can make non existing intermediate directories also for example now you can see here i just have a python folder okay no other folder is there here so if i want to create all the intermediate folders okay for example here abc is the folder in that xyz is the folder in that new is the folder okay so abc in that xyz in that new this complete intermediate folders abc xyz new these can be created by using make dirs function okay make dirs stands for make directories multiple directories okay one inside other okay so i'll show you an example of this make dirs i have executed and now let's see this is my abc directory and inside abc it has created xyz inside xyz it has created new directory understood yes sir yes sir yes okay so in this way you can also create intermediate directories then rename a file or folder or directory okay how to rename a file how to rename a directory <coughs> so in os there is a function rename to rename a file okay so os dot rename and if you check the syntax here src means source and dst means destination okay so you can rename this file src file by this file destination file okay let's not concentrate on this just remember file1.txt can be can be renamed by this name file100.txt okay if you check here we have this file1.txt here it is okay and after using this rename function we will check this file you can see here file1 is renamed as file100.txt understood yes sir and how to rename a folder okay same syntax you can use same syntax okay just specify the name of the folder instead of file you can specify the folder for example we have python folder here okay if i want to rename that python to python1 i can use this same syntax and you can check here just a second python has been renamed to python 1 ha huh. got it yes sir okay this was about renaming a file or folder now removing a file or 
folder how to remove a file or folder <coughs> there is a function named as remove in os module okay so os dot remove will remove that file you have to just specify the path of the file okay this is the path of file new file dot txt and it will remove the file now let me check if that file exists uh, new file dot txt does not exist okay it will give me an error because that file does not exist so we will try to remove some another file let's remove this file 3.txt file 3.txt file 3.txt okay and if I run this okay it is executed and there is no file 3 here got it yes sir okay similar to this remove if you check the syntax here okay it removes a file okay and here it is said that same as unlink okay unlink function also works same so you can either use os dot remove or os dot unlink okay now i am unlinking this file 100 dot txt okay i have file 100 dot txt here if i use this unlink you can check here uh, just a second uh, file 100 dot txt has been unlinked or removed got it Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then how to remove an empty folder? Okay. I have specified empty purposefully because you cannot remove an uh, non-empty folder. Okay. If that folder contains some files, then that cannot be removed. Okay. So that's why I have specified here. Remove an empty folder. How to remove an empty folder? Now let's check an empty folder first. Python 1 is my empty folder. Okay. So we will remove that folder. Python 1 is my empty folder. Okay. So for removing a particular folder, you can use rmdir function. rm stands for remove. Okay. rmdir, remove directory. This is a mk dir i na make directory so similarly there is rm dir remove directory so remove directory which python 1 and if you check here there is no python 1 it has been removed understood yes sir. yes sir. in similar way you also have this function remove dirs Okay, if you check here, rmdir, it removes the directory. Okay, and if you check here, rmdirs, remove directories. Okay, similar function. Now, data, what we will do, we will first make a directory named as data os dot mk or i'll do one thing do it here itself mk dot dir sorry mk dir os dot mk dir and i will comment this i will first make this directory check here data directory is created okay empty directory and then i will comment this and uncomment remove dirs and execute this you can see here data directory is removed understood yes sir okay now as i said here remove an empty directory why did i say that because we cannot remove a 
नॉन एम टी डायरेक्टरी नॉन एम टी डायरेक्टरी कैन नॉट बी रिमूव ओके इफ यू टू चेक इट चेक इट बाय दिस यू कैन ट्राई विथ ओ एस डॉट आर एम डी आई आर एंड वी हैव नॉन एम टी डायरेक्टरी ए बी सी Try removing it. It throws an error. What is the error? The directory is non-empty. Why non-empty? Because ABC directory contains another directory X Y Z. It contains another directory new. So that's why it is throwing an error. So non-empty directory cannot be removed. Okay. So it throws an error. And if you don't want an error, always try. to use the exist function in os dot path okay so abc i want to show the same thing <clears throat> so what this does first we have to check if the directory exists okay we so we cannot remove a non empty directory so before removing a directory we have to check if the directory exists so not only abc actually one two three you can see here i have entered the directory name as 123 okay so it is throwing file not found error the system cannot find the file specified 123 because there is no file or folder named as 123 okay so for such files if you want to check if those files exist you can use this os.path.exist okay and just insert the path here inside that okay it will check whether that path exist so it is returning false that means the path does not exist understood yes yes now if i say abc what it will return os.path.exist abc what will it return True. 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 Because ABC exist. You can see here. ABC exist here. Okay. So before removing any particular path, any folder or file, do not forget to check if that path exist or not. Okay. For example, this uh, this module. What is the name? Uh, OS module. dot ipynb it will throw true because this module exists so you have to use the same thing in if else statement and then remove or make okay now here i am using this os dot path dot exist 1 2 okay if it does not exist then make this directory okay else it will print folder already exist so what is the logic if not os.path.exist123 os.mkdir that means make directory if this path does not exist make this directory 123 else if it exist then it will print folder already exist okay so if i execute this what will be the output of this what will be the result yes what will be the result if or else tell me this thing if 
if that means what will be the result if statement cha madhe kay ahe for the dot emk directory 1 to 3 and what it is doing kay karta ite 1 to 3 directory create right it will create a directory named as 1 to 3 Let's check. This is one, two, three. Understood? Yes, sir. Now, if I try to run this again, what will be the output? Folder already. Folder already exist. Correct? Yes. <coughs> same can be applied for removing a directory okay because we know that if we try to remove a non existing directory it will throw an error file not found or folder not found okay so always check if that folder or if that file exist before removing or creating a directory okay so creating a directory we have done it removing a directory okay remove the directory only if this path exist 1 2 3 now as a folder asel tarach rmdir manje remove karaycha otherwise it will print folder does not exist ata yacha output kay asel mala sanga yes 1 2 3 directory remove 1 2 3 directory will be removed here you can check 1 2 3 is nowhere and if i run it again folder does not exist folder does not exist because it has been removed before understood yes sir now for empty directory we have seen empty directory we have removed but when we try to remove a non empty directory in that case what happens it will throw a error okay so non empty directory let me show you abc is non empty okay so we will try to remove this abc see it is throwing error and what is the error the directory is not empty abc directory is not empty because abc contains xyz again it contains new okay so in such case the logic is a little bit different okay you have to use another module for this the module name is shutil s h u t i l okay shutil module you have to use so first of all import shutil then check that path if it exist so path basically we want to remove a b c and instead of using rmdir in shutil there is a function named as rm tree okay rm tree means remove tree remove tree manje kay ki tyacha at madle jevde kay folders files astil te sagale remove hotil tancha sagalcha tree remove hoil okay and then it is printing <coughs> folder has been removed okay i'll execute this and let's see the output folder has been removed even if you check here there is no folder abc now understood this shuttle yes sir yes sir okay now using this shuttle you can also move a file okay suppose um, file1.txt this is the file uh, okay we are creating this file file1.txt 
I am writing this is a dummy file into that okay check this file one dot txt uh, file one dot txt this is a dummy file okay and now I want to move this file into another path okay so this is my path abc xyz new before that first we need to create that path okay so what i will do i will create that path first abc So what I'm doing, I'm first making these directories, okay? And then I want to move this file, file1.txt. Now this file1.txt is here, okay, outside this ABC. And I'm going to move this inside ABC XYZ new. Here I'm going to move it. Okay, so let's check. So this is the syntax shuttle dot move. Which file you are moving? File one dot txt. That means source. And where you are moving? ABC XYZ new. That means destination. If I execute this, okay, it it will return the path of that file. And if you check here, there is no file one dot txt. And if you check under ABC XYZ new, you'll find it here file1.txt understood yes yes okay so similarly in this shuttle if you check if you check this shuttle there are number of functions in shuttle also Okay, you can copy the file. Okay, copy or copy file, copy mode, copy tree, complete uh, intermediate directories are also copied. Okay, move just we saw and RM tree function here also we have RM tree function. Okay, so different functions are there here also. Then how to check current working directory CWD is current working directory How to check current working directory. To me, Kontya directory with a Kam Karta, he Kasa check Karaja. Okay, because uh, every time we don't open the notebook at the destination. Okay, Jitamala notebook open Karaja, Titus to me open Karta Sani, Jitama code Lita, the directory, Vigria Sushakti. Okay, if you want to check that directory, there is a function here get CWD, get current working directory. Okay, it shows the current working directory. Now, for example, I am working here. Okay, in E drive, in DSS folder, in that there is a lecture files folder, in that there is this folder, and here I am working. Okay, for you, it will be your current working directory. Understood? Yes, sir. Then how to change current working directory? How to change current working directory? Okay. So for that you have a function chdir in same OS module. Chdir. Ch stands for change. Change directory. Okay. So chdir and inside that function you have to 
give the new working directory okay so i have given this c users amol t1 drive desktop python okay so can check here sorry first i need to run this file not found okay python folder is basically not present on the desktop so and now i am changing the directory you can see now this is executed and now if i check the current working directory it shows me this one c users amol t1 drive desktop python understood yes sir. okay also i will change this again because we are still working in this directory i have changed again and now again my original this one is the working directory now okay got it <clears throat> yes sir okay. yes sir shuttle uh, one more function i have taken here to copy okay move we have seen, we have seen how to move but how to copy so basically i am copying this file1.txt okay where under abc folder now here if you check abc folder it just contains the xyz folder okay it does not contain any file if i use the copy function from shuttle then you will find this file1.txt under abc folder okay similarly you can try for other functions okay in shuttle and os <clears throat> and at last some magic commands i want to show you magic commands are basically uh, some particular commands by which you can run different files or uh, perform certain operations okay while running a file okay now what are magic commands first magic command is to write a python script file script file i have already explained you in the last session what is a script file it is nothing but a file with dot py extension python script file okay so this is the magic command to write a python script file okay just use double percentage sign after that write file is the command and the file name okay suppose i want to write file one dot py okay and what i am writing in that file this print hello world okay this is the python code i am writing okay or you can write any other python code in that file okay python code as i said okay because the extension is dot py so we are supposed to write python script or python code in that file so if i execute this you can see here writing file one dot py and if you check here this is the file file one dot py got it and what we have written in yes, the sir. file print hello world yes, okay what we have written this this code print hello world got it yes sir yes sir so similarly here i am writing another python script file and i am now writing this code print hello world once again i'll show you this file2.py see here print hello world once again i hope you understood yes sir then another magic command to run a python script file okay 
नाउ वी हैव रिटर्न अ पायथॉन स्क्रिप्ट फाइल पायथॉन स्क्रिप्ट फाइल क्रिएट केली आपण ती रन कशी करायची यू कॅन रन अ पायथॉन फाइल फ्रॉम अ नोटबुक ओके नोटबुक और फ्रॉम अ पायथॉन स्क्रिप्ट ऑल्सो ओके सो फॉर दॅट दिस इज द कमांड परसेंटेज रन अँड जस्ट मेन्शन द फाइल नेम ओके ना फाइल वन डॉट पी वाय फाइल वन डॉट पी वाय काय आहे याच्यामध्ये काय कोड आहे प्रिंट हॅलो वर्ल्ड ओके सो वेन आय रन दिस फाइल वॉट शुड बी द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस कोड हॅलो हॅलो वर्ल्ड शुड बी द आउटपुट ओके सो विल चेक यू कॅन सी यर द आउटपुट हॅलो वर्ल्ड अंडरस्टूड Yes. What if I run this file? File to dot py. What will be the output? Hello world once again. Hello world once again. Okay. Similarly, you can also use this syntax. Okay. Exclamation mark and Python for running a file. Okay, this will also give you same output. Okay, either use this one, percentage run, or this exclamation python. Then, how to run multiple python script files sequentially? Okay, now just now we have seen how to run a python script file. Okay, now how to run multiple python script files. Okay, suppose I want to run file 1 and file 2. both the files so you can use this percentage python in this case okay file1.py and file2.py it will run both the scripts file is being open <coughs> it is basically opening the file it should also run the file Okay, let's just put this on hold for a while. Last is to get the code in the Python script file. Okay, if you want just the code from a Python script file. Okay. Then you can use this function. Okay, exclamation cat. Okay. and we know file1.py contains print hello world this code so if you run this it will show you the code of that file or even if you run another file it will show you the code of that file understood yes sir yes sir okay fine this was about file handling and os module any doubt in this no sir no sir okay fine just try other functions from os module as well as shuttle module okay and see the output we will stop here today